the Force, an energy field created by all life that binds everything in the galaxy together. It was harnessed by individuals with a high midichlorian count, including the Jedi and Sith, granting them many incredible abilities. Today, we're attempting to cover them all. There are over 50 to get into, so let's dive in. This is every single Force ability and power explained. Force Awareness, or Sense, was the most basic of Force abilities, with many first utilizing it without realizing so. As a potential Jedi or Sith opens them up to the Force, they naturally become increasingly sensitive to it. Force Awareness could be used to feel another being's feelings, the future, ripples in the Force caused by momentous or traumatic events, impending danger, and the presence of the dark side. Force telekinesis was an umbrella term that covered abilities which involved the manipulation of physical matter. It had a tremendous number of applications, both combative and utilitarian. This included force push and pull, force choke, force crush, lightsaber throw, and lifting objects of varying sizes. Enhanced athleticism allowed a user to enhance their own physical attributes like strength, agility, acrobatic ability, and resistance to pain, beyond the possibilities of a peak athlete who could only use their muscles. It unlocked abilities such as the force jump, wall run, and perhaps even the devastating force kick. Controlled descent was a force power which allowed its users to slow themselves and survive falls from great heights. I wonder if anyone ever taught it to Mace Windu. The mind trick influenced and controlled the thoughts, behavior, and actions of the affected, generally to the user's advantage. During the High Republic era, the Jedi more commonly referred to it as the mind touch, as they took more of a suggestive tone and attempted to sway the affected into making their own decisions. Dark side force users used mind control, which utilized more aggressive tactics. Mind probe took things a bit further than mind control, allowing the user to sense or even sift through the thoughts, emotions, and memories of the victims, seeking useful information as though their brains were a filing cabinet. Force telepathy was the ability to mentally communicate and interact with other individuals, as well as to transmit and receive information to and from the minds of others, including over great distances. Force Sight was a slight variation of Force Sense, which enhanced the bearer's visual and spatial perception, even in the dark or behind walls. It even allowed the user to see their targets or any event happening without actually needing their eyes. It was especially useful in training one's reflexes or for use by blind individuals. Force Lightning involved a discharge of electrical energy from a practitioner's hands and was capable of inflicting severe damage or killing a target. Luke Skywalker described it as the ultimate physical manifestation of the Force, as one of its most malicious forms. A non-lethal light side version of Force Lightning also existed called Electric Judgment, which was discovered and used by Jedi Master Plo Koon. Beast Control involved using the Force to mentally connect with and tame animals. Once calmed, the animal could be used by the Force user in various ways, including as a mount or an ally. Psychometry was a rare Force ability that allowed a user to touch an object or enter a place in order to sense the memories or events associated with the object. When using the ability, a practitioner experienced a white blinding light before seeing a force vision of the sight, sound, and emotions associated with the object or place. It was especially useful for tracking escaping targets. Only those that were born with this power could use it, such as Quinlan Voss or Cal Kestis. Force listening is a brand new ability to canon as of Ahsoka Episode 5, but it previously existed in Legends. As demonstrated by Jason Sindula, Force Listening required one to relax in the Force, allowing them to sense things happening on another plane, like the world between worlds. Precognition or foresight was used to peer into the future. This could be on a smaller scale to know where and when an opponent's attack was coming from, or on a larger scale, like when sifo Dias foresaw the coming Clone Wars. Force visions or force premonitions allowed a user to see into the past, the future, and other places, but despite their prophetic nature, force visions were not absolute in their content and could be left up to much interpretation, with the emotions of the witness potentially clouding their judgment on the issue or causing them to misread the vision. Some Jedi attributed this to the future constantly being in motion, 
with the visions merely a warning of what could happen. Hence, they were treated with great caution by the Jedi Order. Force Stealth was used by Jedi and Sith alike to mask their Force alignment, abilities, or presence. Darth Sidious was the most powerful and notorious user of this power, having hid his dark nature for over three decades from the Jedi Order. Obi-Wan Kenobi and Yoda both used a form of Force concealment to shield themselves from Darth Sidious, and Darth Vader in their exile. Shatterpoint was a rare ability which allowed a user to see events and threats as if they were a pane of broken glass. This allowed a user to pinpoint the most important or weakest spot, the Shatterpoint. Mace Windu was the most well-known practitioner of Shatterpoint, though Darth Sidious was also capable of sensing them as he did with Luke aboard the shuttle Tiderium. Force Speed or Force Dash allowed its user to increase their speed for a brief time. The increased speed of the Force user enabled the individual to perceive and react to the world around them in slow motion, allowing them to dodge attacks easily or make a quick escape. While powerful in short bursts, overexertion of the ability could quickly drain the Force user of their energy for a brief period of time. Force projection allowed a user to create an illusionary doppelganger of themselves that could be transmitted through the Force across vast distances. This ability was incredibly demanding and taxing, so much so that extended use could cost the user their life. This is because it involved pouring one's living force into the cosmic force, the plane in which force ghosts reside. Force illusion was a force ability that allowed the user to generate illusions toward other people. It could be seen as similar to a force projection, but on a much, much smaller scale. Force Barrier was a defensive power that utilized force energy to block out any potential deadly elements like explosions or poisonous gas. It could manifest itself as a blue bubble, but not always. Force Orb was a force power capable of creating a bubble of air, allowing one to breathe underwater. It could also be used offensively, but again, only underwater. Force Healing was the ability to heal oneself or others through the use of the Force. It required the user to pour their own life energy into the target at their own expenditure. While the Force was a mighty tool for healing on the fly, technological means of mending wounds were likely faster and more efficient. Force Deflection allowed a user to deflect energy-based attacks like blaster bolts and Force Lightning with the potential to send the attack back to its source. A few even could block melee attacks such as those performed with lightsabers. Force Stasis, often referred to as Force Slow, was the ability to halt and immobilize people or objects for a limited time, such as blaster bolts and lightsaber strikes. Force Sever allowed a Force-sensitive individual to close off or suppress their connection to the Force. Whether by choice or circumstance, the severing of the Force from an individual prevented them from using Force powers to their fullest extent or even leaving them absent from the individual altogether. Several members of the Jedi Order found themselves cut off from the Force, following intense trauma or during exile, though the severance was not permanent and many Jedi often reversed the effects on themselves. Battle meditation could be used to form connections between a user and those around them to transfer images, sensations, locations, and at times even simple ideas. Force Meld was a technique where a number of Force users joined their minds together through the Force, drawing strength from each other. While battle meditation could influence both the Force sensitives and the non-Force sensitives of both sides, Force Meld concentrated on coordinating and improving solely the Force sensitives of the user side. Wayfinding was a Force power that let Jedi or Sith sense whether planets or moons harbored life. Wayfinding was mostly done by experienced Jedi Masters who had practiced it for their entire lives. Dark Aura was a dark side force power and a form of force lightning that, when used, charged the surrounding air with malicious force energy, damaging those around the user and slowing their movements. Sith Alchemy or Sorcery was a force science that referred to a number of areas under the Sith. It encompassed any power or technique which used the dark side of the Force to permanently alter an item or living being. It infamously led to the creation of the Blackwing Virus. A Force Scream was usually an involuntary Force exertion manifested by Darksiders, but could be used on command. It was a scream of strong frustration, rage, or grief emitted through the Force. 
This caused devastating shockwaves that affected any unfortunate enough to be in close proximity. Force Maritro, nicknamed the Touch of Death, allowed its users to rapidly slow down at the bodily functions, such as the heartbeat of an opponent, to the point of death. Master Yaddle was one of few members of the Jedi Order permitted to practice that dangerous technique. A trained Maritro user could also turn the technique upon themselves in order to survive without food, water, or air for a period of time. A Force Bond was a link through which two Force Sensitives could influence each other. Common between Masters and their apprentices, it allowed the communication of feelings, thoughts, and images across distances and granted greater coordination in battle. Force Endure was a Force power used by several Jedi to endure physical pain. Masters of the ability could resist otherwise brutal injuries. Pyrokinesis was a force power that allowed a user to manipulate and generate fire by rubbing and heating up air molecules. It served as both a weapon and a tool in order to bind and draw someone closer. Bleeding was the process by which a dark side adept used the dark side of the force to bend a kyber crystal to their will, pouring all of their hatred into the kyber and turning it into the signature Sith Red. Purification was essentially the reverse, the process by which a corrupted kyber crystal was healed of the dark side's taint. A kyber crystal that had been cleansed in this manner would typically turn from red to white and would form a powerful bond with the Force-sensitive individual who performed the ritual. Alter Environment was a power utilized by extremely powerful Force users like Bendu and the Father to manipulate the weather, creating lightning storms, or changing the ground beneath them. Metamorphosis was uncommon among Force-using traditions like the Jedi and the Sith, but not among the Mortis Gods or Witches of Dathomir. Memory Rubbing was a telepathic Force technique that allowed an individual to use the Force to alter or erase both the memories and learned skill of another. On Mortis, the Father used this power to erase Anakin Skywalker's knowledge of his future as Darth Vader after he had learned it from the Son. Force Empathy allowed those who possessed it to sense the emotions of others and potentially even manipulate them. Those Force Sensitives, especially Adept, could pick up on motivations, hidden feelings, and even deeply guarded secrets. Deadly Sight was a power of the dark side of the Force that harnessed a Force user's fury and hatred and then projected them through an intense glare onto the victim. It would blister the skin and vaporize extremities. The only known practitioner of Deadly Sight after the Rule of Two was the Dark Jedi Saris. Force Rage was a dark side force ability that temporarily increased durability in battle, as well as overall aggression and potency of one's attacks. Darksiders like Kylo Ren and Darth Vader could draw power from the force, focusing their rage to magnify their hate and maximize their fighting prowess. Mekudiru was a dark side force power that bestowed an intuitive understanding of mechanical systems upon the user. It even allowed the Sith to create mechanical mutants called Techno Beasts. The ability to become a force ghost required a certain level of training, first rediscovered by Qui-Gon Jinn and passed on to Yoda, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Anakin Skywalker, and Luke Skywalker. Upon their deaths, it allowed these Jedi to join the cosmic force and appear as Force Spirits. Darksiders also had a similar ability, but it required them to be attached to an object or place, such as Darth Momin with his helmet, or the Grand Inquisitor with a High Republic temple. Essence Transfer was a radical Darkside power used to transfer a person's consciousness into another body, often after death. Ancient Sith Lords like Bane used this technique to cheat death again and again in order to continue their reign of terror. In more recent eras, masters of this dark side art, like Sidious, had used advanced cloning technology to assure their immortality. Force Drain was a dark side ability that consisted of the summoning of energy or life force itself from others by the practitioner, who then absorbed it. Darth Nihilus was perhaps the most skilled practitioner of Force Drain, using the ability on entire planets to fill the wound that he was in the Force. Teleportation was a rare force ability that enabled the user to move from one place to another almost instantaneously. It was another to be more associated with the Bendu and Night Sisters. Finally, Force Cloak was a rare ability involved in the manipulation of light and sound waves to render a practitioner virtually invisible to the naked eye. But that about does it. Did we miss any out?
almost certainly, but I'm sure you'll tell me in the comments. Also, feel free to let us know your favorite force power or ability while you're down there. If you really enjoyed the video, consider checking out our channel membership in the description to help us continue to make more of these longer list videos. It also comes with some pretty sweet perks. Come join us to chat more at our community Discord server linked in the description. If you enjoyed today's Star Wars video, we've got more on the screen for you right now. Also make sure to drop a like, and if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe to join the Red Squadron. Until next time, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you. Red 5, standing by.